people, welcome to this short, sharp, sweet version of WWE Supercard. With me, Big Jim, flying solo, Ninja Boy, he's at school old. But don't worry, he'll be back. And I need to tell you not to worry about something else, because there's a few of you out there, you're panicking. You're panicking, you're concerned, you're worried, you're tweeting us, you're sending us messages on YouTube. What's going on? And what's the reason for all this panic and dismay and despondency and despair? It's the way that we're putting some episodes up now as part of our streaming policy. Yes, we've been putting up some episodes that are actually versions of uh, videos we recorded earlier in the day when we were streaming on Camcord. Now, don't worry, people. That's not how we're going to be doing videos in the future. We're not giving up this, the sort of face to camera to hand flapping, waving nonsense thing that we do normally. This is how we do things normally. The streaming is something that we started doing just last weekend. So to publicise the fact, we've posted three or four videos of camcord streams just to show you what we're up to over there. But we're still going to do what we do best here. So don't worry about it. Ninja Boy's going to be here. As usual, I'm going to be here doing bits and pieces, as usual. We're going to be doing WWE Supercard, as usual, in the usual fashion. But now and again, we will take streams from Camcord and put them on YouTube as well, because people have asked us to do streaming. But you bluff traditionalists out there, who like things to stay as they are. You don't like change. Oh no, Big Jim, we don't like change. Don't worry, we're still going to be doing things this way. Now on that note, and the way that we do things, and the normal way that we do things... Let's have a look at my King of the Ring, because people are still saying, I can't win, I can't, it's just it's just not working, there's too many people involved, it's not happening for me, Big Jim. Well, as uh, most of you will know, I don't have all the event cards, I've got some, I don't have all the event cards, uh, let's just have a quick look, see what event cards I've got, uh, forget the old legendary boys, that's, that's uh, yesterday's history. Uh, these are the ones that I'm uh, rocking right now, and I've got Kalisto, so I would hope to pick him up the second one in row two, glory. But if I was to put a full-out deck into a Survivor King of the Ring right now, I'd be facing people that have got all the um, cards from the various events, and in fact have paid, faced... <laughs> I have faced people with people all those event cards, and uh, struggled as a result. So, I'm not going to get there through strength, so I have to get there through stealth. And what does that mean? What does that mean, Big Jim? Explain! Well, what you need to do is try and find a time uh, that is suitable for you to enter when not so many people uh, from your locality, uh, i.e. who are going to be on the same server as you, are going in for a King of the Ring, uh, but not so late that uh, you're not going to be around in two days' time to be doing the knockout stages. Now, to give you an example, uh, this King of the Ring I'm in right now, I've just uh, powered up using six uh, energies that I had left over. But if we have a look at the standings, I'm top of this Survivor King of the Ring with just two defeats. Just two defeats. And if you look at uh, the chat mode, it's pretty busy. Pretty busy. Big Jim in there. No one else in there. And the reason for that is there's one other human being. And that's the guy in second place who is Tex-Mex. And Tex-Mex uh, provided me with my first defeat in this uh, King of the Ring, everyone else is a bot. And the reason behind this is I entered at 3 a.m. UK time. Now at 3 a.m. UK time, you're waiting for ages for other players to join, and eventually Tex-Mex must have joined in. And uh, it's just the two of us, just the two of us. So uh, he's probably watching this uh, now, or if he is watching this now, I'm probably gonna give away a secret. So hopefully, uh, maybe I shouldn't post this until the uh, event's over. But um, I could see, you can see he's obviously put in some uh, super rare divas to drop down a little bit. So he's not facing uh, top quality opposition. But uh, what I did do, based on that first defeat, I just uh, had a tweak of my team, just changed the order, running order of where people were, so that I should be able to beat him next time round, which I did uh, three two, and subsequently I've beaten him three two. My one other defeat was when uh, Hot Train or Ho Train. Uh, perhaps I better say hot train for the sake of decency. Um, fully powered up, but it's a bot. It's just that it chose that particular match to fully power up. So, I've got one human opponent. Now, if you think about it, it doesn't take too much to think about. All you really want to do in these Survivor King of the Rings is get to the final and get yourself that Survivor card. So, you finish one and two. The humans manage to outlast the bots. And you finish one and two, which we're comfortably sitting in right now. 
we're not going to face each other till the final. So actually winning the final is not that important. Be nice, you get an extra card, but uh, it's just getting to the final to get that survivor card. And having had um, two pretty rough King of the Rings recently where I'd entered at like 10.30 in the morning, and there was 13 humans in one of them, um, which was brutal. It's absolutely brutal because not only does it get to the knockout stage where you're having to make changes and power up for every match, also during the course of the ladder stage, you're having to power up virtually every match. You're playing non-stop. When well, you're playing a lot of bots, you can power up for the human and then maybe power up a few matches later and that will pretty much carry you through. So that's how I've managed to do that. And I'd be very surprised if I'm not talking to you about a survivor card in our next video. Moving on, moving on to Road to Glory. Uh, let's just see uh, what I'm up to. Not an awful lot. I'm not doing a Season 1 King of the Ring because I, I've just got so many cards. Look, you see this 111 out of 150? That's me having had a clear out. Um, I'm sitting on too many cards. It's my own fault, I know. But if you just have a look at my Season 1 cards, I'm still sitting on all these. I can't bear to part with the Special Event cards. I'm still liking the Fusions. I still like to rock a bit of um, Season 1 king of the ring so so that's fine but then uh, you know really i don't really need to keep john cena and um these individuals aren't really going to be they're certainly not going to be appearing in king of the ring i'm hanging on to that page on the basis i might pull another page and you know, i'd like to have a page pro but i've got two um diva pros as it is so i don't really need that nicky i don't need that roddy piper i don't need that dolphy zig um but I'm sort of clinging on to them for some reason. I don't know why. But, but Jim, why are you clinging on to them? I have no idea. Perhaps I'm just one of those people who likes to hoard things. I just don't, I don't know. And um, I certainly know... Oh, I've skipped out now, haven't I? I certainly know on the Survivor front, I've got the uh, Surfer Dude Sting sitting at the back. Uh, which, again, there's no real reason for, for keeping him other than, uh, than I want to. <laughs> um, and these two girls really should go now. I mean, these are pulls from recent um, Season 1 King of the Rings. But... It's just it's having things to feed them into. It's, it's now so easy to get cards, to feed into cards. Of course, the big battle now is actually getting the stats built up through competition. Uh, you know, there's just all these cards. Well, they're all maxed out, man. They're just all maxed out. If we just put that onto none, you can see all the Survivor cards. I'm not moaning. There's all the Survivor cards. It's all the legendary pros. I am moaning, really, aren't I? Um... And then there's more legendary pros, and uh, these survivors, they don't, they don't even need feeding up yet. More survivors. Uh, there's more survivors, more survivors, more survivors. At least I'll get uh, a pro out of Adrian Neville from this road to glory. And uh, there's more legendary cards, individuals. There's Bree. I'm actually now working on Bree to be a pro. She would muscle into my um, top four divas right now so i've got to i've got to work on that and of course there's other cards it's just like goes on and goes on there's a few support cards cropped up finally thank goodness uh, especially these two little beauties which are uh, well i haven't locked them look come on lock yourself classy freddy blassy back in season two who good to see him uh come on lock for goodness sake um but i'm sort of stockpiling a lot of these because of course there's a fella and his pirates been waiting a long time now. Long John Silver and the Pirates in the Fusion Chamber. And why do we call him Long John Silver and the Pirates in the Fusion Chamber? That's because many moons ago, when the sun was flying over the yard arm, we were first doing Supercard Season 1, and I said, let's go and have a look. What's going on in the Fusion Chamber? And for some reason, I did it in a pirate voice. So ever since that episode in Season 1, when I said, let's have a look at the Fusion Chamber... Uh, it's always been Long John Silver and, and the Pirates in the Fusion Chamber. So I hope that clears up for all of you people who keep tweeting me, still asking me why it's Long John Silver and the Pirates in the Fusion Chamber. It's not a proper reason. It's not a logical reason. It's a big gym reason and a bad lad dad reason. But that's how we do things around here. Right, now then. Uh, what was I going to do? Road to Glory. Look, I've, got some, uh, I've got some bouts to play. I've also uh, helped myself to some title matches because it is quarter to four on Friday afternoon and as you can see I've barely played other things going on in life been a bit busy uh, one of which of course is Clash All Clans which is one of the things we've streamed and put the video up on the YouTube page and we had our first clan war and we won and I've just uh, elected James as co-leader and he's now planning our battle too 
Now, to enter Clash of Clans, bad lad that village, see I've gone off on a sidetrack now, it's invite only now, it was open for um, a week, and people were joining willy-nilly, now it's 1,400 trophies as a minimum, and invite only, because we're building up the crew, we haven't had our first victory, we've got a taste for more. So, um, you can still uh, try and apply if there's a space available, but now there's a vetting process. Bit of a vetting process, because what people are going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe fighting, that's the kind of people we like, the BLD army. Uh, right, let's go back to um, Road to Glory. What I have done, and what I would thoroughly recommend you guys do yourself, um, if you've got cars that do need powering up, which I have, as so long as it doesn't take you out of the present tier that you're in, Whack them in to the start of your road to glory because these games are all a given. These early matches, you're just going to win them hands down. So, for example, there is a Mabri who I'm trying to get powered up so she can match the other Brie and turn that into a pro. And uh, well, the others are just uh, long standing cards. Uh, but that's pretty much what I use the early rounds of road to glory for uh, just powering up your cards, getting the stats built up. No need to use your deck cards. Uh, we're going to sail through these fairly easily, but you might get a view of... It's like the lesser survivor cards, the ones that you know... You're always going to concentrate on the ones that are going to muscle into your exhibition deck or are going to really help you in uh, PCC or whatever. And I do have a couple of cards where they're deliberately not fed out fully. There's a couple of survivor pros I've got um, that I use specifically in my PCC team, uh, which is another story. And... Um, so you'll see those uh, those cards crop up here. Now Charlotte was being powered up, but I think thanks to the present King of the Ring that I'm in, uh, that she's now fully done. I'm not quite sure, but she's looking stat fabulous right there. So she's not looking too bad. And a few others that I'm powering up too. There is one thing I would say here. Um, now as I mentioned to you, what you don't want to do is drop down a tier when you're filling out your deck because you run the risk of uh, pulling a top tier card when you're not in your correct tier as has happened to me on a couple of occasions when I was in Legendary I dropped down to Epic uh, in some ring dominations my own fault really Should, there was no need to do it to try and get a fourth card uh, but I did and two ring dominations in a row I made Epic pulls which actually meant that at no stage did I get a Legendary pull because I wasted two of them um, on my ring dominations so, uh, you obviously want to avoid that situation. But herein lies a problemo. And the big problemo is for the likes of Ninja Boy. Ninja Boy is an exhibition tier in Survivor. And he's comfortably in Survivor. But when it comes to these events, he's in Legendary Plus Plus. Now, the poor lad is desperate not to do what his dad's done and uh, waste his top tier picks in an event. But that's the problem. He's now not playing, didn't play the last event, and he's not playing this event because he's paranoid that he's going to pull a legendary card and that's going to ruin his chances of his uh, survivor pull. Now that's wrong, Cat Daddy. You, you've engineered something where people are afraid to play the event because it's actually going to penalise them in the overall game. You need to have some sort of system whereby, okay, you're playing at Legendary++ plus plus level, um, but if you do pull a Legendary card, it's not going to affect your top tier pull, i.e. you being in Survivor in Exhibition mode. So, something really needs to be done about that, because if you've got a system whereby people are afraid to play the game, you're not designing your game properly. That, that needs to be cuffed. That needs to be addressed. It needs to be sorted. It needs to be done now. Get on with it! Just stop watching this video. Get on with it, Cat Daddy. There's plenty of other things that you need to be getting on with, but that's one of them. You need to do something to protect people's top pulls. Now, in fairness to Cat Daddy, they have made it now that um, if you pull an enhancement card... Uh, there's me talking about sorting things out. We're waiting on a network. You pull an enhancement card, that's not going to affect uh, your top tier pull, despite the fact that people are still worried about that, and there's almost not a day goes by without someone saying... I've just pulled a legendary enhancement. Does that, does that count as my top tier pull? Um, so they have at least addressed that. But this this point now where um, Ninja Boy, I've said to him if I was him, I'd just play it because he's got legendary Stardust. And so that would give him a pro. And I reckon he could also get the Neville card as well, 
which would obviously give him um, another survivor to add to his small survivor crew. Well, he's just he's not prepared to do it because he's he's worried about um, this pull, and I totally understand it. You know, he's eight years old. He says he doesn't want to listen to logical reason. He just doesn't want to be disappointed anymore. There's a lot of young people play this game. And there's a lot of things in this game that can make people quite tearful. Believe me, I've witnessed it. Perhaps I've shed a tear or two myself. Perhaps not, but maybe. You just don't know. So um, that is something that does need to be uh, sorted out. So that's my little rant for the day. Done in the old school way. To camera, to you guys. Nice and clear, not all sort of dribbly streamy, where it's a bit sort of Star Trek going up, uh, being beamed down on a planet somewhere, all going, Roo. it's being done properly. I'm just beginning to uh, glance up to the clock a little bit more, because Ninja Boy is due home from school fairly shortly. He's uh, having a two weeks of dropping him off and picking him up. It's his mum's turn this afternoon. She's got to pick him up for me. Because um, I've, in addition to my bad back, I've kind of managed to break a toe in my right foot. And how did I do that? I was kicking a football in the house. Which you shouldn't do, kids. Shouldn't kick a football in the house. It's my own fault. And uh, as I kicked the football, I followed through and I kicked the door frame as well. So this is a man with a bad back who's waiting for a back operation, kicking a football, which he shouldn't be doing, kicking a football indoors, which he shouldn't be doing, and kicking a door frame, which I can definitely recommend is something you should definitely not be doing. So I have um, four purple toes... <laughs> Four purple toes, three broken toenails, and a broken toe in the middle of my right foot. So, it hurts. And having uh, rushed Ninja Boy to school this morning, because we are running a bit late, uh, so that's it, I've had, I've had enough. The foot's had enough, it needs a rest. So his mum stepped into the breach. This is very good, not my breeches, into the breach. So yes, this, uh, these early rounds, uh, it does add a, just a little bit more interest, a tiny bit more interest to these early rounds, um, if you know you've got cards you're trying to power up, so you try and put those into the uh, matches where there's two stats that are being requested, rather than the one stat, because obviously that will help power them up a bit quicker. And these energy cards uh, are useful. It's another little tip, when you're, uh, if you're getting fed up with all these resets and having to um, constantly feed your cards in, just make sure you've got a King of the Ring going when these events are going, because of course then you'll earn the energy bars, which are not only useful for your King of the Ring, but it uh, it just keeps the number of overall cards that you're getting uh, down. Cuts it down by just a little bit. Just a little soupçon. A tiny fraction. A little waffer, perhaps. Alright, sorry, I've gone off on a completely different tangent now. I've gone on to my own little world, which I do tend to do, uh, as you well know. So like that, that's the second version of Kane I've got there. Um, so here, Kevin Owens, Kane, and that single Bubba Ray are all new cards that are being um, statted up. So I will try and save those, hopefully. Uh, I was trying to save them for um, a double. OK, well, we'll stick Bubba Ray in, because we've already got a pro version of him. I've got a pro version of uh, Kane too. So what I've done, uh, seeing as the pro version of Kane is him in his wrestling garb, I thought I'd have Authority Kane. Now, there we go. That's nice. Both cards get a Toughness and Charisma stat. Very nice. Labbly jubbly. Sorted. So I'll do... Um, I'll just play to the end of these belts. And then get out of your face, because I'm sure you've got plenty of things you'd rather be doing than looking at me and listening to my madness on a Friday afternoon at the end of a long week. Of course, what that does mean uh, when Ninja Boy returns home is he'll be around for lots of more videos. And we will uh, hopefully be doing some kind of stream over the weekend. I would have thought it'll be a Supercard stream. Um, albeit that when we did try and do a camcord stream using both of our iPads on screen at the same time, bearing in mind you've got two lots of uh, device being fed into the desktop, plus a camera, plus a microphone, uh, that was too much. It was all very sort of like... <coughs> so we had to stop that, um, doing our King Louis impersonations from the Jungle Book, and uh, had to do just the one iPad. We still did a Mano Ninja Boy, you can still see it. Um, I'll leave a link to it if you're that interested. Um, but you couldn't see his machine, so of course that just gave him license to run away from camera as much as possible, like he normally does. Um, 
so we will be doing more Man of Ninja Boys the traditional way, where you can see what's going on in screen, in front of you, right there. I quite like the Kofi card, you know, the um, the picture that I've dropped in for Kofi. I think it works well. I wasn't a great fan of the card when it pulled. I don't like that New Day garb, the blue tracky suit things. But um, the, the cards, I think it was his, I can't remember now, it's his rare or super rare. It's quite a nice pick. I think it works. I think it works. Now, I'm pretty sure, with my radar-like hearing, that I've just heard Ninja Boy's mum's car. Um, it has a particular way that it drives, very slowly. <laughs> as she's knocked over three bushes as she drives through it. No, I'm terrible. She's not that bad a driver. I mean, she's pretty bad. No, no, I didn't say that. She's quite a good driver. At least once a week. <laughs> Stop ragging on your missus, Big Jim. Get on with the game. Waiting on a network. That's Ninja Boy's bet. Oh, come on. So close. Yet so far, if we're lucky, Ninja Boy might just join us for the last um, last few seconds of this. Oh, I've still got two to go. I've still got two to go. Main, it's on main. Playing main. How are you guys doing? Um, you know, I do need to say one thing. I've not been able to reply to as many YouTube comments as I do normally uh, these past couple of weeks. Not just because things have been busy, manic, crazy, bonkers, what have you. Um, but because there's some flipping system somewhere that is spamming my chat with links to sites uh, purporting to give you free credits and things for WW Supercard. Which, of course, is complete nonsense. So to protect you guys, I'm having to delete these. Now, I've set up the filters on my YouTube to intercept things that say hack cheats and all kinds of things like that um but they keep changing the wording so this is like a battle it's a war of attrition between me and the spammers so to give you an example this morning i sat down to reply to some youtube comments there was just over 200 uh, um spams that had been blocked by the filter which again were all links to this flipping site that's trying to get you all to sign your lives away um but there was about 80 that had made their way onto people's comments so they reply to people's comments rather than make an original comment themselves. So I was having to go in to those comments to delete the spammy bit, and then that reinstates your comment back onto our page. Otherwise, all your comments are going to start disappearing as well. It is an absolute bum ache to sort all that out. Um, so while I'm doing that, I'm obviously that's time that I would normally allocate to replying to people. Um, so that's why I've not been able to reply. So I will hopefully get to a position where these blimmin' spams aren't going to be so flipping, flipping annoying uh, and time-wasting. Ninja Boy! Come show yourself to the world! Come here, buddy! He's coming! The door's closed, he's belting through. What have you got? He's got bags, he's got letters, he's got books. You've got what? You've got poop? You mean you need to poop? No. What have you got poop? Get your... Yes. Yes, this is recording. This is happening right now. Hey? Are you recording? Yes, I'm recording. This is happening right now. Right here. Yes. Mrs. Ninja Boy doesn't believe me. Or Mrs. Big Jim. It's not Mrs. Ninja Boy, is she? Come show yourself. Don't be camera shy. Go on, come and show your face. This is the first people. Ninja Boy's mum is coming to camera. She doesn't believe it. Here she comes. Here she come on, come on. <laughs> Look at that smiling face. <laughs> Look at that. Wave to the world, Mrs. Ninja Boy. You're not say, recording, are you? Say hello. Of course we're recording. This is going to go out now. You can't. You can't interrupt the recording I don't and then. Believe you. You don't believe us, okay? Well, you can watch YouTube later. Bad Lad Dad, have you heard of the channel? <laughs> For someone who doesn't believe us, she's acting in a very stilted fashion like someone who's never been on camera before. <laughs> right, Ninja Boy, get your jumper off. Come join me. Quickly. Yeah. I've got a couple of bouts left. Yes. <laughs> now the bad language is coming out. Is he really recording, she said, in between various expletives. 
If you didn't believe me, well, she's going to learn the hard way. You can't interrupt Big Jim doing a recording for you good people. That's the truth. Ain't that the truth, Ninja Boy? Yeah, that's the truth. That's the truth. True that. It's the way it works. Be a boss. <laughs> I'm a boss, apparently. Yeah, right, well, I think we've now found a title for the video, haven't we? Ninja Boy's Mum Makes an Appearance. Ninja Boy Mum Appearance. <laughs> it's a first. Um, albeit brief. <laughs> and not very willing. I think you just about got to see her. I think she was just about in frame. Yeah. It's not because she's taller than him. Right. It's because he's sitting down. Mate, get your jumper off. Ready? Get yourself on camera. I'm pleased to say that um, the te oh, technical God. problems with the iPad coverage that kept breaking, oh, super rare, has uh, been resolved okay. by now. I just plug it into the MacBook, MacBook and use uh, QuickTime. Where you just go on at quick time, go on to a new movie, and from the drop down menu, you identify your iPad, put that on screen, and then you go into new screen recording, click on that, and then that will record a screen and your iPad. And then what I tend to do is, sorry, mate, is overlay the um, Jey Uso. I've told them all, oh, I'm going to start shouting to him now. I shouldn't really shout. I should be concentrating on you guys, shouldn't I? You can come in like that, can't you, mate? No, I want to be in chill clothes. You want to be in chill clothes, right. Okay, so this episode is now extending uh, far longer than I'd anticipated, simply so you guys can see Ninja Boy and not be waiting on a network. network see, we missed him earlier. We missed him. He's not here to do the network error bit. Oh, what was that I was just saying about things working fine, nothing's broken down, no network errors, all working nice and smoothly. Right, here we go. Jesus, let's play Harrison. I've got one more bout after this. Here's Ninja not Ninja. <laughs> He's gone for a comfort break. I suppose he has been at school all day. He's entitled to a comfort break. Uh, so much power speed. You see, those people who are like looking at the stream say, oh, it's not quite how you do it normally. This, you know, It's not smooth as normal and everything. You call this smooth? You think this was planned? No, this was planned. This is how it happens, baby. This is how we roll. Um, right. I don't really need to be taking that much time over tapping this, but I'm just enjoying the view, just taking in the cards and deciding what I can power up. So as I was saying earlier, see, there's my pro cane in his wrestling garb. So um, that's why I've changed the second cane into authority cane. It'd be quite handy if um, they had cards for wrestlers with two different uh, personalities. Um and make changing the pictures all the more enjoyable. It's that Kofi card that I like again. Look, doesn't that card look good? I like that. It just fits. Sometimes the pictures just fit beautifully within the frame. I think that's what makes them look super good. Super cool. Oh, there's my Callisto. Bye. So again, I want to hold him up for uh, to use him in a, a match like that. Perfect example. Here's Ninja! Yeah! Bye, 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 bye. New Ninja in the house! A King Barrett Ninja. Play no let's just uh, let's just do that. <laughs> just so you're in shot a bit more. How's your day been? Interesting. Interesting. What have you been up to? Farting. Farting. <laughs> have you been farting for joy or just farting in general? Farting in general. Farting in general. <laughs> so school was most noticeable today uh, for your fart. Oh, now we're getting told off by his mum. Because she's aware, she's going to star in this video. And we're going to name this video in her honour. Uh, she, does, she doesn't like the references to the F word. Not the rude F word. A sort of a lesser, milder version of the F word, which is farting. <laughs> Which I just said, quite clearly. Hey, clearly. I slam dunked her, see? Ninja Boy's now closed the door so she can't get access to us. Slam dunked. I have explained to people your predicament, young man, in that you can't play this event, and you couldn't play the last event because you're worried about your survivor card, Paul. Oh, yeah. And of Because uh, the other day, I believe it was yesterday or the day before, I was doing a bit of exhibitioning, and I pulled an epic nominee. An epic nominee. Uh, <laughs> so you've had legendary Miz, epic nominee, um... All the signs are there. He's going to get. Oh yeah, I've uh, got an ultra support card as well. Um, a top tier pool very soon, mm -hmm. which.
which is why he's backing off. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, that's that's wrong. If you've got someone who can't play the game because they're worried they're going to miss something, um, you know, he's missing out on all these uh, these other cards that he could be grabbing and adding to his squad. Because I think I'm right in saying Stardust makes a pro for you, doesn't it? Or he would do if you were going for it, wouldn't it? Uh huh. Stop beating yourself up. Don't beat yourself up, man. That ain't cool. <laughs> right, here we go. Final bout. Then we'll stop missing a boot. Final bout. Here we go. And we'll have a last look at my King Ring. Well, I don't really need to look at the King Ring, do we? I think it's. I don't want to say it's a foregone conclusion we're going to be in the final, but it's pretty much a foregone conclusion. Wait, did you say you pulled a Super Air Jay Uso? I, no, you asked me what the Super Air was. Yeah, that you pulled. Oh, the one I pulled was... Oh. I can't remember. <laughs> can't remember, but what I did pull earlier today was a legendary... <gasps> um, Let me guess. Okay, was it a support card? No. Enhancement? No. Diva? No. WWE, guess who? Lefto. Oh, I hate it when you ask me that because I can never remember. <laughs> Is he one of them lot? Is he one of them lot? Actually, he's not because neither of them have legendary cards. No. Uh, <clears throat> Skills. You have to try and find some other way of narrowing down who it was without uh, doing his own. Is he a present wrestler? He is a present WWE star. Is he? Does his name begin with an R? No. Does it begin with an A? No. B? Yes. Who begins with a B? Present WWE star. Play this at home. It's not Bret Hart. It's not Big Show. It's not Bret Hart. It's not Big Show, although it could have been Big Show. He's a present wrestler. Uh -huh, but he's not got Begins with B. But he's not got a legendary. Yeah, good spot, good spot. Good spot. Wait. Wait. Have you got him from the King Nine recently? Wait a minute. Could it be? Who do you think? Brock Lesnar. No. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, the stinging cold put down from Ninja Boys. He beats me to death with a plastic stool. Thank you very much. He had the one. Wait. What? I think that's a BLD boy. What did? Your opponent. D sure. Did it? I think it said it. I wasn't even looking. That, that would be. Uh, I saw a warrior avatar. That that would be um, rather amusing if, like, in our stupidity and playing and not looking at what I'm doing, certainly, if I've just played BLD Boys. Are you sure about that? Well, I guess it's probably a fake. Well, it is. we'll have to watch it back. It could well be a fake, but then because this is early rounds, don't forget. So Yeah, and I'm on Legendary Plus. Yeah. Because I still auto filled my deck. So there we go. I'm up to right back. Ka, 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 ka. And. Maybe it's old version of BLD Boys. Could be. I uh, just beat Puddin' Pops 5 0, so we're still on course for a top Wait, two yeah, finish. Hello. Fairly comfortable. Um, and finally, haven't forgotten. Haven't forgotten. I'm just going to have a look. Wait, did I guess who it was? No, you didn't. No, you did not, young man. Let's look through your pros. Well, why? In case it's one then. Alright, none then begin with a B. Uh, uh. We are family. I got what? all my brothers with me. It's a clue. It's a big clue. I don't get that clue. He doesn't get the clue. He does not get the clue. It was a good clue, I thought. Which present WWE star? Would like to think that he's got some family around him. Got to get it from that, surely. Got to get it from that. <laughs> um, this might be a bit too complicated. What noise does a donkey make? 
And do you know how you describe that? No. Well, okay, well, that doesn't help, but that's his first name. <laughs> and his second name rhymes with Hyatt. Oh, for goodness sake, man. I think he's just having like a... He's just come on from school. He's not quite in WWE mode. I'm sure you've all got it by now. Rhymes with Hyatt. Yes. His second name. Shall I tell him? I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. Can't you see his arrow now? Well, you stand in the corner, like a naughty schoolboy, and let me have a look. Uh, yeah, I've forgotten it already. <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah, all right, okay. It's a right blue arrow. Not worth playing that anymore, is it? This is painful. I mean, you've all now seen the card at home, so you all know what the card is. It's weather. The ninja boy can endure the pain any longer. I'm trying to guess. He's looking very quizzical. So you don't know what you call the sound of a donkey when it makes its noise. Well, if I tell you, it, ri it rhymes with spray. <laughs> spray Hyatt, come on. <laughs> He's got his head in his hands now. The penny's dropped. He's walking out the room. He's beaten. He's, he's not happy with that. <laughs> Come here, mate. <laughs> You're there I now, yeah? Asked, do I have it as a... You should have asked, yeah. So basically, right, are there any questions? you now know you now know that that noise that a donkey makes is called a bray. It's the bray of a donkey, and it makes a braying noise. That's a little lesson for you there about animals. So that's where the bray comes from, and obviously we are family. It's the white family. That's why I gave Ooh, the family clue. I totally forgot about that clue. <laughs> Still, there we go. That's the beauty of doing videos the old school way. We have all this kind of fun. We and I, I, I don't have to worry about trying to read people's comments switch. as they're coming in live, because that's quite distracting as well. Yeah. It's not easy to do that. So, there we go. Let us know yeah. if you prefer videos this style. I know the answer, because you've already told us. Um, what else have we got to do? This weekend... What, what do you reckon? So you can have missed his singing as well. What do you reckon uh, we can do video-wise? Probably just Supercard update tomorrow? What do you think? Yeah. Um, uh, maybe we could do Man Ninja Boy FIFA. Yeah, Man Ninja Boy FIFA 16, yes. Yeah. So we haven't done one of those for a few days. Uh, uh, so a we few can, days. We can record some of those. Yeah. That could be good. In fact, yeah, I quite fancy some of that. So some oh. FIFA 16, a bit of Supercard, <laughs> a bit of punting in the stomach. <laughs> and of course, if you want to find out, what's coming out, and when it's coming out, and what it's going to be, and anything else about life, just follow us on Twitter, at Bad Lad Dad, and we'll completely mislead you about everything. So, get logging in. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done already. Please share the video with anyone who wants to see it and anyone who doesn't want to see it. Please give us a like, if you can be bothered. Please don't bother giving us a dislike. We, we get a few people doing that. I don't know why. I don't know what we're doing wrong, but I suppose you can't please all the people all the time. So for now, this is me, Big Jim, and Ninjakus Boycus. Saying, see you soon, and be cool.